All right, let's uh, pull back the curtain here and let's sit down with two former NFL offensive linemen, 16 plus years of trenches experience between Jeremiah Searles and Alex Boone. I'm Phil Mackey here. And the question for this show, and it's kind of, it's, it's not kind of, it's very subjective. Has Jordan Love emerged as a top 10 NFL quarterback? I want to run some film for you guys. There was a five-week stretch from like mid-November into December. Forget about the great play at the end of the season where the light bulb flickered and turned on for Jordan Love. And we're going to look at some of the big throws from that period. But how would you guys sort of classify him among the NFL quarterback rankings? It's hard for me. You know, I want to put him right, right up there. I really do. But it's such a small sample window of like the end of the season into the playoffs. The greats are consistent for 18 weeks, right? Like they're, they're, they're going to be good no matter what. And we saw some ugly Jordan Love early in the year. I mean, like everyone was like, oh my gosh, what have we done? Like we let Aaron Rodgers for this guy, right? And so there's still that question mark of are you Jekyll or are you Hyde? Like which one are you here? Mm-hmm. But I think that if for me, if he can come out in the first two, three weeks of the season next year and show that he picked right up where he left off last year, absolute you've ultimate to the top ten. Like absolutely no questions asked. I just I have a hard time with a guy that didn't do it but half the year last year crowning him top ten in April. I agree with Jay. I think it was a small sample size, but he what he did in the the back end of the season Incredible. was phenomenal. Just phenomenal. And if like like you said, if he picks up where he left off, then yeah, we'll put him in the top ten. Now will he be at number ten? Probably because you have to earn your way all the way up there. But at the same yeah. time, it's like yeah, dude, being able to take your team into the playoffs, beating Dallas in Dallas the way you did, like that was kind of like a whoa, what's going on? Taking type of the moment. Niners to the brink, dude. Right? Like it wasn't like the Niners no. steamrolled all over them. No, No, I I mean, and that's the thing is, can they pick up where they left off? And is this Josh Jacobs going to be a good signing? Can the defense get figured out? Can they start to alleviate some of the pressure off Jordan Love? Because last year, there was times he made some great throws. And Mackie, I was watching some of these last night. We, We broke down some of these plays. Some of these throws are off the back foot, about to get smeared, puts it in a window, and it's like, that's incredible. That's impressive. Well, also, and I mean, we'd be remiss to say that a lot of this didn't start coming once Aaron Jones got healthy. Right. Right, like, and maybe a lot of it was, you know, they were so one-dimensional when Jones wasn't healthy last year as a running back. Everything was on Jordan Love's plate. But when you could start sharing the load and start to kind of d- d- divvy up who's carrying the ball, that was when you really saw it click for Jordan Love. And so maybe that was a big piece that went into the Josh Jacobs signing of looking at what did we have success with at the end of the year with Jordan well, it was when we had a strong running game. Right. right. And so when you combine the two, that's great. And in order to be a great quarterback, you can't, unless you're one of the top three quarterbacks in the league, you have to have a good running game, right? I, I think that, like, the top three, it doesn't matter. You could pass the ball 80 times a game, and they're going to make it happen, right? Right. But when you have that top 10, like, from, like, 5 to 15, those dudes are elite because it's a balanced football team. Well, let's let's pop the film up here full screen. And, by the way, before we do a deep dive into, I don't know, there's probably seven or eight plays from uh, just that five-week stretch where it was kind of, It was a big question going into November. Man, is this guy, are they going to have to look for a quarterback? This is the first time in like 30 years, maybe they've dropped the ball and then boom, the switch flips. (laughs) Click the like button and the subscribe button on the O-Line Committee YouTube channel. Go tell some of your uh, football-loving friends about this thing. We're less than a year old, almost to 20,000 subs, and find your offensive line lifestyle merch at olinecommittee.com. So this is Packers Chargers here. And it's uh, obviously in the red zone, as you can see on your screen. I'm just going to run these plays. You guys tell me. We've got the the, the sideline angle and the wide view too. So, or the Love wide view in the by uh, the, way. the end zone view. Mm. Boop. Look at that little drop in the bucket. Little drop in the go bucket. Let me run it. Tw- I'll Give run these. Oh, come on. We gotta watch it. Gotta watch it. Oh. Shock. I mean, first of all, the route concept's phenomenal. Yes, it right? is. Right. And, and Christian Watson, when healthy, is a true number one receiver in this league. Right, and I'm 90 percent sure that's who number nine is. Um, but like the way he runs it away is. from the safety here, and understanding, and Jordan Love being able to get here. But this is the the Matt Lafleur flair that he can put on a, a motions and getting guys moving to create confusion with the defense. Right, like just the simple cross motion here is a pre snap indicator. 
and we you've probably heard us talk about that on film breakdowns, but pre-snap indicators are so important for young quarterbacks, especially because right there you can see how everyone bumps, right? No one runs with the receiver. Everyone just kind of bumps across. So we're That's looking at telling. all these guys, right? Yep. Yeah, everyone. Everyone in the secondary, right? And you don't see someone running with him. Everyone's bumping, so immediately Jordan Love goes, this is a zone play. Zone. Right? This is zone defense, right? I like what we have on here. I like the zone beater that we have. This deep cross is going to run right across this safety's face, get right mm -hmm. behind the linebackers. Then our two tight ends on the left here are going to eat up these two defenders that are over him, right? There's only two defenders on the left side over the two tight ends, right? So these two guys are going to get out. Boom, they're going to get eaten up by these guys, right? He's going to jump right here. That deep safety jumps right there on Tucker Craft, which then allows him to scream across here. And 26 is playing catch up here in this middle field yep. safety. He got caught with his feet in the ground, right? So a great job by Jordan Love identifying what the defense is, identifying where his mismatch is, and then being able to make this throw off his back foot as he's got a guy coming down to hit him right in the pipe. And this is what we talked about. This is what would put you in the top 10. Being able to see this defender coming at you off the right side and throwing this ball and anticipating where the receiver is going to be because you know the scheme. I mean, this is good football all the way across so, the board. So he's, yeah, he's dealing with 45 here. Yeah. Right tackle, right there. That hand Don't slap causes Don't him to open up a little bit. Go back. This is one of the things we talk about in the gym a lot. And this is guys can't have their outside hand. Normally when your outside hand gets swiped like this, your outside foot will die. And the one thing we always have to teach guys is the minute that outside arm or hand gets touched right there, see it? He slapped his hand. That foot will normally die, and you have to teach it to kick one more step, step or else this is going to happen. You're going to cut this corner super tight. And then the quarterback's got to make an anticipated throw off his back foot, which he does a great job of but this can be avoided and to what jay's saying it's a great id from jordan love of going hey this is zone i'm going to throw it in the back corner because he's right these two defend these two receivers right here are going to eat up this side you know uh tucker craft coming over across is going to eat up this safety and i'm just going to put it in the back of the end zone like dude that's that's a great play yeah we'll watch this one more time from the from the wide Boop. boom yeah, it's just and like the patience too, and even knowing you can kind of see that defender coming from the right side too, and to sit there back foot. Yeah, the Super patience, the knowledge, knowing where you want to go, like that's the stuff that early in the year we didn't see. Yeah. Right, and and, and then, to be fair, it's his first year starting. It's hard. Right. It's a hard position to do. It takes time to get there. So now we move into uh, at Detroit. Here we're making our here way. I go. believe this is the Thanksgiving game. I'm pretty sure. I think I watched this from. The Circa uh, Swim Pool in Las Vegas. Very exciting Oof. day for the Mackies. Oof. Look at this tight window. I was going to say, look How at you, this I mean, this window. Is, <laughs> boop. You can't even, can't even Dude, see it. You can't even see the window. <sighs> I wish we had the behind view, but we didn't. on this play, we didn't have it. But this is... Uh, Mackie, can you pause it when he catches it? Yeah. It's a rub route. Right. Boom. Boom. See the balls right here. Dude, look at that, dude. That's that, like, that's a, that's kind of reckless, but it's it's very the far middle feet. linebacker very doesn't even throw. know the ball's thrown. <laughs> well, look at this! Look at this guy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like, where's the ball? <laughs> what's, what's right now? Dude, I'm telling you, that's that's some precision right there. Mm. And you're in the Lions Stadium. You are in the belly of the beast, my dude. This is a throw that a lot of people are like, who can make that throw? You can't. You can't because this window is so tight. It gets thrown. Like, look at this. Look Keep at going. This. One more frame. One more frame. Hold on. yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I know it's kind of hard. It's kind of blurry here. It's kind of hard. I know, but... dude. You can't even see the window in slow motion. This dude just put it between two defenders and six inches. That is a I think that To have the it's balls confidence. to make that the throw. Confidence. That's what it is. Right, the confidence, the confidence to have that, to understand, I trust my arm strength enough to do this. Same thing. Oh, beautiful. right here. Again, pre-snap indicator. Right, he runs him out there. He knows it's man. As soon as you know it's man, you pick your one-on-one -on -one matchup. Right, right there. Interesting. Go back. Go, go, go back, back to, the, to, to the wide. Yeah, go here. back to the wide. Right. So you've got, you've got Watson out here. Press nine. cover one. Press. You see pressed it. up here. So, right, you just want to make sure they're not trying to disguise anything. So you go ahead and send, I believe that's Musgraves, 89. You said, hey, Luke, go out there, right? Who runs with him? So he's One doing, he, he's sending tight end out just to to verify that it's man coverage. Correct. To, ver to verify and also to widen because now you've got the outside defender out right. there taking up space. And now you've created more of a lane, right? If you were to leave this guy, go back to the first formation, right? Not final, finals afterwards. Like if you leave this guy in here, 
right? He can bail into this route, right? But when you widen this tight end out, it makes him, you know, it's man coverage. Now he's got to press there. Now no one's going to fall off on this route. Now it's your best one on one matchup, yeah. right? And you're just picking it because this safety decided he wanted to go co take the corner in the front. This is a great touch on the ball, too. Look at that. Only where the receiver can get it. I mean, that is. This will show you, ball. too. It's but yes, like they, little this is a big like indicator this. that this is man, and this is why we do a lot of motions, is so they can figure out are we in the right play or not, because obviously something like this, like running a fade, if it's man, we want to run a mesh route. We want to get somebody open somehow by creating a, this mismatch. But when you're in zone, it's different. Now you're talking about changing routes. You're talking about changing protections. Like That's why we're sending guys in motion constantly. This is a fourth down here, by the way, against the Chiefs. So this is a, this is a huge, huge game here. Packers are... Driving past midfield. One observation here, because you're going to see it on some of these other throws. He has he has a little Brett Favre gunslinger like you saw in that first throw against Detroit where he's just going to he pick a tight window and go. But he also has that sort of Aaron Rodgers floating a throw off your heels kind of, you know, like he's able to he has great touch while throwing off of his back foot or off of his heels. And it's just I'm sure he watched Aaron Rodgers do it in practice for three years, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, a little flick of the wrist, but also his arm talent's very, very good, right? Like you see, there's certain guys that when they throw the football, it looks effortless. Like, look at that. There's another one. Yeah, I mean, that thing's on wild. like a forty yard rope, dude. First of all, I, it should have never been caught. I but, remember watching this. Yes, this was we pressured. were all like, no way. Kansas I mean, this City is spag spags like, hey, we're only gonna rush for Chris Jones doing Chris Jones Boop. things. Yeah. I can't wait to go back real quick. Go back. Because oh, I want you to watch Chris, Chris Jones. Jones so good. Just coming right down the middle of the pipe. And you just, you know what? I'm going to throw this ball up real David quick. They even slide to him. Was that David Romeo Dobbs he threw it to? I think it was I Romeo, so. right? Right. They're like, even like, hey, we're sliding to Chris Jones. Watch right? the center. Oh. Like, <laughs> just dude. instant cross He's quick. Face. He's quicker than you think. I'm instant telling you. Instant cross face. <laughs> First of all, this guard should not fly out of there like this. Like, stick in there, buddy. There's a reason we're sliding to him. Sometimes guards get this like, oh, you're sliding to him. Not my problem. Right? And you just vacate space. Like, there's zero reason for you to fly way out there the like that. Zero. There. Number one, your feet, there, man. your feet should not touch like that when you have the slide to. If anything, you literally just drop your left foot and you throw your right hand in his face as hard as possible because you're trying to cause a distraction. You're not trying to get this guy beat across his face. That's not what we're trying to do in any way. But that ball off the back foot is just incredible. It's beautiful. It's a a beautiful. Thing. Beautiful. You making some more coffee over there, Alex? I don't know. The coffee machine's just cleaning itself. <laughs> it's, just, it's just giving itself <laughs> a bath right now. Turn it off. <laughs> somebody to turn off the coffee so machine. Now you go. So now you go into empty formation here, right? Every quarterback loves empty. Love right? it because you, you. We the, love it. The defense has to declare their their intentions, right? You have <sighs> to declare your intentions empty. It's hard to hide, but you also have to have answers. You have to know where are my hots? Where's my O line sliding? Where are we all going to be, right? So he, he sees alerts empty. it right there. He alerts he sees it. it. He knows sees what he blitz. wants here, right? Boom. He keeps the tight end in. He knows he's going to have one guy free off the end and picks his matchup. Man. Right? That's that's for me, the, the, the physical play of a quarterback is great, and it's important, but it's when the mental side of it comes into play, right? When you see a quarterback go, okay, I don't like this. Like, I don't like what this looks like. I don't like the route concept that we have into this look. Let me get out of this. And then as they check into it or they kill it into something else and then have success with it, that's yeah. the true like maturation process of a great quarterback. How He's about so Tucker Tom Craft here, too? Dying a slow death on the edge right here. Tucker Is that Carl Loftus? Yeah, that's, that's, no, that's not Carl Loftus. So you're looking, you're, you're looking Maybe over here, tight yeah. end dying. Yeah, so, so, so like, we've so gone into a lead end, protection. Right? Yeah, he we've gone into a lead protection. He knows, he knows 21's going <laughs> to hug rush it. Dude, yeah, he's just right? dying a slow death. He's like, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. I mean, I'm proud of you, dude. Like, we go L here. We know there's Kansas City. They're clearly going to blitz us in the red zone. They're going to put pressure on us. They bail out. They got us on the wrong side. But still, the, when the tight ends can step in and block like that and the quarterback That's can throw off That's still a clean pocket. Dude, I call it's that clean. clean pocket. That's that, clean as that is, Dude, that's that a tight is, end. That is a pressure that Spags was betting on getting home, right? And it didn't. And this is what that's, happens. That's very clean. Look that's at that. a that very is. clean pocket, right? And it's they're only rushing five, right? But the way that he schemed it, you have a tight end on him. 
right? You but have that's what it end. is. It's because it's man. It's man to man. And the minute the tight yes. end blocks that defensive end, see, and that's why they tell the tight end, listen, you block this end because this guy's going to come one step late. And if you notice, he's about two steps from getting that sack, and that's just enough time to get that ball to Christian Watkins. Watson. I love it, man. I know, dude. Sorry, Christian, Watson. Christian Watson. Packer fans are going to light you up for yeah, mispronouncing the, the name of it. Everybody does. Really CT's. good wide receiver there. CT. So they <laughs> did. Off guard. This uh, this game ended poorly for the Packers, but more signs again from Jordan Love here against the Giants. This this was such an effortless throw. Like this for me, no pressure in your face. You know where you got to go, but just watch how like his lower body is kind of all over the place. He just he just does turns he have his bad mechanics? I don't think he has bad mechanics. I just don't think he needs to have perfect mechanics, right? You you yeah. compare and contrast a guy like Jordan Love with Kirk Cousins. Like Kirk Cousins, in order to throw this football, needs to have his feet set, like driving fire forward. through, driving yeah. through it. Like this dude can have his feet parallel, just throw his shoulders and his hips at it, and it just zips, right? Certain dudes just have that special type of arm talent, and he's one of those guys, which is, I think we kind of forget about this because he was drafted so long ago, and we hadn't seen him play for so long. Like no one remembered what he looked like at Utah State, right? Right? Everyone's just like, I don't remember. He played there good enough, I guess, <laughs> but like. I mean, to that right there. I mean, look like, at this. His shoulders right. His body's moving this way. Yeah. yeah. And just side arm in it. Just a 40 rope. yards. Just an absolute rope on 40 yards. Boom. Right in the face mask. Yeah. If it's a spear, it would have killed him. Oh, I love it. I love that <laughs> saying. I love when the coaches say that. Uh oh. Todd Bowles. Oh, t- Tampa Bay here. We game go. Here. Hey, right. go back. Did anyone notice the linebackers at four yards? Anytime Tampa's linebackers at four, they're coming, dude. I'm they're just coming. letting you know. I'm telling you right now. They Todd Bowles can't help himself. Look, there he is. He's at four, and the other guy's like, at five. Oh, so sneaky. They, they always so sneaky. give it away, dude. God, I used to love that. Linebackers are stupid. <laughs> well, that ball got tipped, too. But look, that's a, just a freaking crazy play. Here, that, let's go that's back a healthy catch. Uh, let's be honest. It's a great job getting away from pressure. Once again, sliding to the left, blitzing Mike through the A gap, just yeah, random I'm shit. I love it. Yeah. and he's I'm not he's not really Bay. using his leg. He's not running for I don't even know how many rush yards he had, but he's he's certainly not looking to run for a thousand yards, right? No, he's he's, no. He, he's using his legs and his mobility to keep his eyes down the field, second yeah, level. Yeah, I mean, he does plays. what Mahomes does. If you need to take off and and take eight yards to get a first down, do it. But he's not looking to run. No, like his first read is always pass, right? So he feels the pressure in the A gap. Right guards getting bold. Find my find my escape route. Right here we go. Zach Tom does just enough there. Find my escape route. Keep my eyes downfield. Running away. Doink. It's a hell of a catch. Tip. Great catch. Better catch. Like yeah, not a hell of a throw. catch. Like that's more of a great catch than it is a great throw. Also, though, the decision making here isn't it. Tell me if I'm an idiot here, but. A lot of quarterbacks, I feel like, okay, oh, my God, I'm bailing out. Let's just go to the first option here, right, and just take the five yards. But he's looking second level still. Let's get the 15, 20 yards. Mm-hmm. Let's go for it. Let's get the chunk. That's that, that's that Brett Favre gunslinger you're talking about, right? Yeah, it oh, is. Yeah. I can put the ball anywhere. Well, here's one. This is a great one. Yep. Over here's a touchdown right here. Again, it's like, well, this play should be dead, right? Yep. Nope, it's a touchdown. I mean, this is this is one of the best plays of the year for Jordan Love, right here. Yeah, overload front, slide into the left here, find a way to escape, God, right? trash that, in the pocket, off his right leg. Doop. Oh my God, Tutties. that is an absolute dart. DB's like, there's that, no way. Yeah, DB's the, like, there's the, no the, way. That's great coverage. Like, there is nowhere else that DB. There's nowhere else. If Jordan Love throws this football three yards behind this or one yard behind this, it's maybe an interception, one hundred percent incomplete. But right. But running to his right, eyes downfield, and when he throws it, like that's if we, I wish we could do a side by side. Like when he throws this, this dude's on a full sprint to the sideline. Yeah, full sprint, right? Boom! Great Boom. catch too, by the way. Keep those, Great keep catch. Keep down. down. Let's go wide the here. DBO, go. The DBO is does the incomplete, right? They just can't help always, themselves. right? Yeah, he didn't catch it. He didn't catch it. <laughs> they never catch anything, dude. By the way, I love this pile up on the O line. I know we didn't right. talk about it. This center almost caught. I think it may have been Vita Vea, but he just missed him. And had he caught him, it could have been ugly. This overload. 
Yeah, so we're going so overload. We're going three over three here. On the side, right? So, so they're, 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 they're going to slide for to the left. Someone to fill this, right? Well, Sometimes we don't do this. Sometimes we'll just so, if there's a guy over us, we'll down him, and then it becomes a five zero essentially. But I love when teams are able to do this because the guard can kind of become this presence for the center. This is this twist is really picked up well, but watch this center right here almost catches Vita, kind of misses. Oh. oh, dude, he might he could have been bad. Keep an eye on seventy one here for the Woo. audience. This could have been a broken rib for Vita. Oh, oh, he man. wanted it. He wanted, he wanted it. <laughs> oh God, I love it, dude. I'll mash it up. Yeah, I think this is my favorite Jordan Love throw of, of the year. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't see. Great... I didn't see all of them, but like, I mean, because yeah. in reality, there too. I mean, he may be able to run for a touchdown. Like, Ooh. there's an, there's enough space in front of him. Let's watch this back with that idea in mind. I mean, no, I really, I don't know that he makes that. Uh, uh, they, they, I mean, no. he, he gets inside the ten. He gets inside the ten. But like, the first, the first down marker is at the four. So he's, you know, he's looking for. Yeah, I mean, he's he's definitely picking up a big chunk yardage, and you never know if we can get a block. But, again, he's not looking to do that, and that's the the evolution in the NFL. You don't want to be a running quarterback. You don't. Right. Yeah. You're, you're going to get hurt. Right. Like These dudes are too big. They're too fast. They're too strong. Just ask Anthony Richardson how his rookie year went. Right? It doesn't work that way. Lamar Jackson is nope. the anomaly because he never gets hit. Like, right. He just finds ways to get down without getting hit like no one I've ever seen. But when you're a quarterback in this league, you've got to be a pass first quarterback. Have to be, have to be, have to be. One hundred percent. And I agree with you on that. I think a lot of people see quarterbacks running and they're like, Oh, he's gonna run for it. And you're like, No, he's just creating time and space. He's gonna go yep. to one of the yep. sidelines and someone's not gonna break all the way across. Like <laughs> none of these guys are like, I'm gonna run for the first down. They're like, I'd rather throw it forty yards, pad my stats, look like a real quarterback, like because you're and right. Not die. You don't know when that middle linebacker is going to hit you, and you're going to be like, whoa, Zabuddy, because them <laughs> cannot tell you how fast they are. And it's the one thing we keep telling the guys in the gym, like, listen, you don't understand how fast these defenders are because they're coming at, they're hunting you. They are literally <laughs> hunting everyone out here. They are yeah. madmen. And if you let your quarterback run down the middle of the field, he's going to get smoked yeah. hard. Don't yeah. let him do that. Like, yeah, that's the thing with young alignment a lot of times, or even it's like, you see with young quarterbacks how quickly windows close. Right? Like, oh, there's a window. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> like, if you don't anticipate in the NFL, you don't – like, that was one of my biggest issues with Jalen Hurts early in his career. I felt like he didn't anticipate throws. And that's the thing with, like, Jordan Love, anticipating where that ball is going to be. Is the defender going to close? Will I have the time to throw the window? Because, I mean, you're talking about half a second being the difference between maybe a touchdown or a pick six. Right. right. And that's why that position, if you're really good at it, you make $55 million a year. Yeah, it's <laughs> quick decisions. And you, like you said, you have to anticipate. And to, I know this window is going to be here because it's zone or it's man. Or yeah. I know this is going to, I know I can put the ball in this exact And I got to trust it and let it the rip. Confidence. Because if, I, if I don't, Ooh. if I pump fake or if Ooh. I hesitate, then I'm toast. Yeah. The second window doesn't exist in the NFL anymore. It does. I no. I, I feel like after watching this breakdown, now we obviously picked out like some of the crazy highlights, and you could go in and find some. Oh, I don't know Shitty if I would have made yeah, that. I don't know, sure. Jim. But if he can, not many. Here's my hot take: If you're just ranking quarterbacks based on what they can do at their peak level of play, he ranks pretty high. I mean, Patrick yeah, Mahomes if you, if is going to be say Josh ceiling, Allen. Like, if you want to say if he can, if he can play at his ceiling, agreed. Skill wise, talent wise, but yeah. can he? Can he? That's the question. Can he consistently do it week in and week out through an entire NFL season? Yeah. We shall see. And we'll start to find out more in 2024. So, <sighs> Packers fans, football fans, that was a master class from Jeremiah Searles and Alex Boone. Click that like button and the subscribe button here on the O line committee YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys next time.